Hello and welcome to this Witchette Vale Benefice service. Welcome to those of you watching on YouTube and those of you listening on Red Kite Radio. My name's Cassa and today I am in the fields around Aston Sanford uh, where the harvest of wheat has been gathered in and we can see where the tractors have moved about in the fields and have started the work of turning over the soil ready for the new seed. Our theme today is thinking of Jesus' teaching in the parable of the mustard seed, how small seeds and small acts can produce a great harvest in time. Let's prepare our hearts and minds to worship our God. Let us pray. Eternal God, you crown the year with your goodness and you give us the fruits of the earth in season. Grant that we may use them to your glory for the relief of those in need, and for our own well-being. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we begin this harvest service, we're conscious that we do not always take care of the earth in the way that we should, and we're not always appreciative of the resources that we have. So let's take a moment to bring to mind the failures that uh, we have made over the past week or past month or past year, and uh, repent of those, turn away from those, and uh, seek God's forgiveness so that we can live in a new way. Loving God. We say sorry for the wrong that we have done against God, the world and our neighbour. As we prepare to celebrate, let us call to mind our sins and the sins of our society in the misuse of God's creation. God has blessed us, but still God's children go hungry. Lord, have mercy. And we all say, Lord, have mercy. God has blessed us. But still the poor cry out for justice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God has blessed us, but still we see inequality and oppression in the earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we pray, may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us of our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you as we sing the beautiful traditional hymn, We Plough the Fields and Scatter.
So our Bible reading today comes from Luke's Gospel and um, it is Jesus teaching in one of his parables and it's a very short reading. So Luke chapter 13 uh, verses 18 and 19. Then Jesus asked, what is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? It is like a mustard seed which a person took and planted in their garden. It grew and became a great tree and the birds perched in its branches. So do you think small acts can make a big difference? Today we're thinking about how every harvest starts with a tiny seed. Seeds have to be planted watered and cared for by farmers or by uh, us in our gardens. I wonder if we wanted to see the harvest of the kingdom of God, the love of God around us in our communities, in our workplaces, in our schools, what kind of seeds need to be planted and nurtured? William Wilberforce, a Christian living in the 1800s, was one of the leaders of the movement to abolish slavery. He said this, Things great have small beginnings. Every downpour is just a raindrop. Every fire is just a spark. Every harvest is just a seed. Every journey is just a step. Because without that step, there will be no journey. Without that rain drop, there will be no shower. Without that seed, there can be no harvest. Now, the abolition of slavery took a long time in this country, and it was very hard work for those who brought it about. They met a lot of opposition and uh, many powerful forces, but through small acts, small steps, bit by bit, this dreadful practice was outlawed. Slaves were freed and through this we see the value of the kingdom of God and Jesus' teaching to love our neighbours as ourselves being brought into being. Now Jesus told the parable that we've just heard um, and in the parable Jesus says the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, so small And yet when planted, it grows into a huge tree. It is miraculous watching a seed grow. And in half a year, the growth is enormous. It's amazing. But we might all notice that in the first 10, 20, 30 days, when we've planted a seed, nothing much seems to happen. Um, And of course, that's because the work of germination that's happening is going on beneath the soil and within the seed. So Jesus, in his parable, is saying that the kingdom of God is as powerful as these seeds. Something so small, which initially might not seem to do much, yet in time is powerful enough to grow into a strong tree. Jesus showed us what the kingdom of God, the love of God in action in the world, uh, looks like. And just before he tells this parable in Luke's Gospel, we hear that he heals a crippled woman. This is an act of compassion, of kindness, and also it is costly to him. We hear that power went out from him. Helping others is costly for us too. We will have to give up something of ours in order to plant seeds of the kingdom. We might have to give up some of our time, our energy, our food, our money. But I wonder what would happen if we lived like small acts can make a big difference. I asked a question at the beginning of this talk, if we wanted to see the harvest of the kingdom of God, what kind of seeds need to be planted and nurtured? I wonder whether they might be individual seeds of small acts of kindness, small acts of care, compassion, small sacrifices of our time and resources to help with family, friends and neighbours. 
we might like to ask ourselves, who is in need around us? How do we support so local food banks, for example? Just one can from our shopping, I'm holding up a tin can it for those of you on Red Kite Radio, just one can, uh, which might not seem very much to us, a small act can make a big difference in the life of someone else. Of course, collective seeds, when we're able to join together our own, own small acts, can mean even greater things can happen. And of course, we do this uh, by working with our neighbours for those in need, supporting community projects and organisations, uh, working with the parish council, uh, working with our other local churches. We can support the work uh, globally of charities that work on climate change, poverty, and maybe workers in particular sections of society like farmers. There are a huge variety of, of, of options. And of course, the thing is that we will all have our own particular uh, things that we like to support, things that, are, that we're passionate about, maybe things even that, that, that we feel are really important, that God has placed on our hearts and we think, yes, this is the particular thing that I am going to uh, be supporting. There are many opportunities that present themselves to us and we just need to prayerfully respond to each of those opportunities. Importantly, we mustn't be put off by our own small, in inverted brackets, part, but have confidence that our seemingly small contribution of one can, I'm holding up the one can again for those of you on, on Red Kite Radio, will make a big difference. So this harvest, may I encourage you to have faith in the power of mustard seed acts. Let me know what ha harvest you see from planting small seeds of love, compassion and generosity. Let's pray. God of love, you have created the universe by your eternal word and have blessed humankind in making us stewards of the world. We pray for this beautiful earth, that we may share and conserve its resources and live in reverence for the creation and in harmony with one another. Father, Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. You have given the human race a rich land, a land of streams and springs, wheat and barley, vines and oil and honey. We have made by sin a world of suffering and sorrow. We pray for those who bear the weight of affliction, that they may come to share the life of wholeness and plenty. Father, Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. In Christ, you call us to a new way of life, loving our neighbours before ourselves. Help us to care, treat with care and respect the world as it is, as we live in hope and anticipation of the world as it will be, when your kingdom of love comes and your will is done. Thank you for those living and departed, who have shown a true respect for your creation. Help us to follow in their footsteps until with them we see you face to face, where all is made new in Jesus Christ our Lord. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We join together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So let's pray for God's blessing on us. May God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created 
and upon us all his children, that we may use his gift to his glory and the welfare of all peoples. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and those whom you love and for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. Happy Harvest Festival to you. I hope you have a, a lovely day, whatever you will be doing.